So I've been toying with the idea of actually changing the height of the tank, whether I lift the back of it like you can see that little uh, timber block there or whether I lower the front. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but it's something that I might play with after I've put this hoop on. But at the moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this frame. So I've spent quite a bit of time measuring and just really standing back and looking at uh, where I want to cut this. So those lines basically this section here is going to be cut off obviously uh, this section here at the bottom to flow with that will be cut off and then you can see a faint line going across there the top of my fingernail that piece there will be gone as well so that this will be chopped here and then that'll just fall into place and then i can do a nice bead line along here weld it on and also one across here all the way over once i lower this hoop in place i'm going to manipulate it a little bit to try and change the shape ever so slightly i might do a little bit of a kick at the back uh, I'm not sure, but for now, I just want to get that hoop on. So let's start cutting, finally.
I thought before I went too far I'd explain what I'm doing here with these little funny wires. Uh, they're just handles, uh, just because I am going to be placing this guy down inside here and I can see uh, if I didn't have something to hang on to, it'd probably end up falling down inside there and I'll have fun trying to get it out. So that's all there for. So I'm gonna tack it on uh, once I put a magnet across there and then when I know roughly where that's gonna be, I can run the blade of the grinder across there on both sides and then pretty much just put a few tacks in there and weld it out. So once it's completely welded, I'm gonna grind it all down flush and hopefully it'll just look like one molded piece of steel that goes all the way through. So from here to here will be flat and then from this point where you can see that little cut line is where the hoop will actually start to just kick up a little bit. Now I'm using a TIG for this. Uh, you can do it with a MIG, you can do it with a stick. It really doesn't make any difference. It's still gonna be able to be just as strong. The only reason I'm using a TIG is because I absolutely love it. I love TIGging um, and I just have a TIG now so I want to use it as much as I can because I'm a little bit out of practice and it'll just help me get better and better. So this is all pretty much ready to be welded out. Uh, I've just been standing back looking at it and I was originally gonna go for a slightly longer seat and the more I look at it, I don't like it. And I pretty much just changed my mind. I'm glad I changed my mind now rather than when I did weld it out. So what I'm thinking about doing now is just taking a section out of it to shorten the seat. So pretty much, I guess this section here, I'm just gonna take out and I'm gonna bring this hoop back up to here. So these guys here are all pretty much ready to be welded out. So I'll do a decent tack on both sides to make sure this doesn't move. And I'll just slice this off here, uh, cut my tack here, pretty much take these pieces out and then bring this up to here. Uh, what's gonna happen essentially is uh, this here is pretty much in line as you can see. And once I bring this up, there's a bit of a curve in this section compared to this. So this guy here underneath uh, will follow that contour on the side uh, and then once I've completed that I'll end up plating the bottom of it and welding that out just so that I can keep uh, a lot of strength into this because by having this piece at the bottom uh, really adds a lot of rigidity to this hoop uh, once you add this hoop on so I don't want to take that away I just want to basically shorten it. So the frame's been shortened now by 60 millimeters compared to what it was before. It's much shorter. It could potentially be even shorter again. However, due to the fact that this hoop starts to come, I guess, outwards this way, um, I'll be really struggling to try and get that hoop on. I'd have to try and do a slightly different hoop if I was to do that. And you saw the process of me making, actually, if you haven't watched that video, the video of me making this hoop, go and check that out. Uh, yeah, so I don't really want to go through the process of making a new hoop just for that. To get this frame to fit, I had to make a slight incision uh, with my uh, trusty old scalpel down here. And I've just bent, basically bent this frame out ever so slightly. Uh, it wasn't much in it. It was just a tad just to try and get it to marry up to the original positioning of the frame. Uh, the top section is now all ready to be welded out. Uh, it's prepped and pretty much done. I might just prep this section a tad on both sides just so that I can get enough weld in there so when I grind it flush it's you know strong as I've mentioned before. Uh, top section's done. The only bit I really need to work on uh, after I've welded all this out is the under section here which you can see uh, will need a plate on both sides. Uh, I can work on that and weld that out and then obviously grind that flush as well. So one other thing that I may do is I may just cut this seam here between my fingers I may just cut this out and then weld it out and then just grind that flush so it's nice and neat for no other reason, just because I want to. Uh, it's not really gonna change any strength in the thing. To be totally honest with you, uh, due to the fact that I'm actually joining the two sections together uh, with a hoop and I'm using material that's actually thicker than what Honda had originally, um, I'm making this stronger than it was originally.
little bit out of practice when it comes to using the TIG, but that sounds like a pretty good excuse to do more welding and create more stuff. Anyway, the back end of this is uh, pretty much TIGged up now. I uh, still have a few things to do, but um, I'm not too worried about the welds. The reason is I'm gonna be grinding them down flush anyway. So once this is uh, pretty much completed, uh, it'll look hopefully like one molded piece of steel going up and into the hoop. There's just a couple of low points, as you can see, just through here. Uh, and there's another one on this side, just here. So I'll fill those up with weld and just grind over the top of them. Um, I could keep grinding and I could potentially get that out, but that's taking out a lot more material than I really want to. So just throw a little bit of weld over it and then grind that off and she's good to go. But apart from that, it's looking good. So I'll also attack this little one here. I haven't quite welded that one, so when I do it, I'll grind that one off as well, but it is a tight little spot in there and the grinder just won't quite get flat enough to uh, grind that down. I'm using my handheld air belt sander to uh, grind this one off and apart from that, uh, it's looking quite good. I'm pretty happy with it. 